The United States $4 billion sixth generation fighter jet is not just an aircraft, it's a game changer. And guess what? It's what China fears most. Unsurprisingly, the United States leads in military spending and is revolutionizing defense with its next generation air dominance program, or NGAD, showcasing advanced technologies like the collaborative combat aircraft and the NGAD fighter. But this isn't just another project, it's a major leap forward in aerial warfare. Join us as we explore the groundbreaking military innovation and stick until the end to find out some mind-blowing advantages it has over legacy weapons. The NGAD program is all about creating new and advanced systems. It's introducing improved weapons, state-of-the-art sensors, advanced electronic warfare suites, enhanced battle management capabilities, and high-performance engines. One of the biggest highlights of the NGAD program is the introduction of the Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCA, also known as the Unmanned Wingman. These CCAs are designed to work closely with manned aircraft, providing support and expanding the capabilities of the entire fleet. Alongside the CCA, the program is also developing the NGAD Fighter, a sleek and sophisticated manned aircraft that promises to set new standards in aerial combat. With over $4 billion already spent, this program is on the rise. Now let's get into the depth of finances. The Pentagon plans to spend a massive $850 billion in 2025. A big chunk of this, $815 million, will go into making the Air Force's NGAD fighter even better. That's a huge jump from last year's $276 million. And get this, once it's up and running, this fighter could be the most expensive one ever made. Why is there so much funding, though? Well, the NGAD fighter is taking over from the F-22 Raptor, which is currently the world's priciest fighter. So, it's no surprise that the Air Force's budget for the NGAD program has shot up, from about $1.9 billion to nearly $2.75 billion. Looking ahead, they're planning to invest $1 billion over the next five years, and a whopping $40 billion overall. What a massive budget! The main investments are going into the NGAD fighter and the Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCA, Wingman. CCAs are the robotic partners in the NGAD program. They use advanced technologies like AI, machine learning, and autonomy to assist the manned fighters. These wingmen can do it all, from carrying weapons and gathering intelligence to electronic warfare and targeted strikes. This team-based approach gives a full view of the battlefield and allows for flexible combat strategies from different heights and angles. It's changing the way missions are planned, making the Air Force's $6 billion investment in CCAs over the next five years essential. The Air Force is set to launch a competition in 2024 to pick the CCA contractor. Big names like Lockheed Martin, Boeing, General Atomics, and Northrop Grumman are already in the mix, with a short list expected later this year. Many other companies are also contributing, working on technologies like autonomous systems, sensors, and command systems, and the aim? To get a CCA design ready for production by 2028. It's important to note that this effort isn't starting from zero. Existing programs like DARPA's Air Combat Evolution and Boeing's MQ-28A Ghost Bat are already making strides. Skyborg is especially promising, with a $51.7 million budget in 2024 to integrate its technology into the CCA program. Progress with these unmanned aircraft is well underway. Once it's done, each CCA will cost between $20 to $40 million, about the same as an F-16 Fighting Falcon. These aren't just throwaway drones, they're built to endure. 
the Air Force aims to get around 1,000 CCAs and pair them with 500 manned fighters. So, every manned fighter will have two CCAs by its side. In total, the fleet will have 300 F-35 Lightning IIs and 200 of the advanced NGAD aircraft. A great strategy indeed. Brace yourselves, because the NGAD, or Next Generation Air Dominance, is all about ruling the skies with the next era of planes. To make this happen, a lot of new technologies are needed, like better sensors, engines, and weapons. They all team up to win air superiority. The star of the show is the NGAD fighter, packing most of the game-changing technology, and the end goal? A fighter with features you'd expect in a sci-fi movie including top-notch stealth. The NGAD fighter takes inspiration from stealth aircraft like the B-2 Spirit, the stealth champ of today. It will have a cool triangular shape, hide its weapons inside, and skip the usual vertical stabilizers. This new design is a first in fighter jets. Vertical stabilizers used to be a must for flying, but the B-2 Spirit changed the game with active flow control. This innovative system uses onboard computers to continuously adjust airflow around the aircraft, allowing it to stay airborne much like how birds fly. Moving on, open architecture is also a crucial component. Over the years, the U.S. has learned that even the best aircraft can get better, especially as rivals up their game. That's why the NGAD fighter will have an open design, making it easy to add new upgrades. This flexibility means the fighter can adapt quickly to new challenges brought on by advancing enemy forces. In simple terms, today's 6th generation NGAD fighter could easily become tomorrow's 7th generation with a few updates. How amazing is that? The focus is on staying connected and informed. The NGAD fighter is set to have the most advanced sensors ever seen on a fighter jet. Instead of traditional radar systems, the Air Force plans to use smart skins that are part of the plane's structure. This means data from these sensors can be shared with other planes in the fleet, whether they're sixth generation or not. This real-time sharing makes the entire Air Force fleet more connected than ever before, thanks to their capabilities of this new fighter. Get ready for a new era of firepower with this new military upgrade. The NGAD fighter is set to carry a range of weapons, much like its predecessor, the Raptor, but with some exciting additions. Alongside the usual missiles, bombs, and a possible big rotary cannon, the NGAD might also feature laser-directed energy weapons. Now hold on tight, because as mentioned before, these next-level weapons offer some impressive advantages over the old-school ones the world is used to. First up, Laser weapons never run out of ammunition. They keep firing as long as they're connected to power, ensuring continuous firepower without the need for reloading. Secondly, they hit their targets at the speed of light. That's 18,000 meters per second. It's the fastest thing out there, and this incredible speed makes dodging almost impossible for any target. Last but not least, these lasers can do a lot of work on their own operating autonomously with minimal need for human control. So, the NGAD fighter isn't just about raw power, it's about smart, cutting-edge technology too. The Air Force is pushing ahead with laser technology, and leading the charge is the Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator, or SHIELD. This innovative system is a joint effort from defense powerhouses Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin. These companies are not just big names, they are also top picks to build the NGAD fighter fleet. However, Northrop Grumman stepped back from this competition last year. With Northrop Grumman handling the U.S. Navy's NGAD program and developing the advanced B-21 Raider bomber for the Air Force, it's worth considering whether having one company produce both main aircraft is a smart move, especially with Lockheed Martin a top fighter producer still in the running. Right now, Boeing and Lockheed Martin are the key players competing for the NGAD fighter contract. The final decision is still up in the air, but a face-off between these two industry giants could be the deciding factor in the NGAD program's future. Tensions around the world are heating up. 
conflicts are starting, and more seem to be just around the corner. The U.S. is right in the middle of many of these, with competitors becoming more daring. To counter this, a new set of powerful air systems is coming into play. Just like any strong family, they aim to stand together and defeat their enemies. The NGAD program stands as a prime example of American innovation and determination in the pursuit of air superiority. With its cutting-edge technology, flexible design, and strong weaponry, the program is set to revolutionize the way we approach air combat in the future. So what's your take on the next generation of aerial warfare? Do you think laser weapons will become a standard issue? Share your thoughts in the comments section down below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button, press the bell icon, and subscribe for more interesting content. Thank you for watching.